This year, I was given an incredible opportunity to attend a fly-in for a college in Boston. Not only was it my first time in Boston, it was my first time on a plane by myself. I've grown up very close to my family. We've done almost everything together, but this was the first time I would be doing something on my own, and it was terrifying. So many things went wrong that day. I went left when I was supposed to go right, which set me back so much that I was literally running to my gate. Mind you, I have asthma, so I was wheezing the entire way. <laughs> Only to make it just in time to see the doors close in my face. It was awful. When I made it back, the lady at the desk asked me a very important question. She said, would you like me to book you a ticket for our next flight up to Boston? Mind you, based on my previous experience as to what just happened to me, my, what I wanted to do was say no, grab my bags, grab my parents, and go home. But I didn't. I said yes. And that changed everything. I remember making my way back to my parents and thinking that I somehow disappointed them because I couldn't do it on my own. I even managed to get lost on my way back and wound up in the airport food court. By then, I was done. I was, so, I was so upset with myself that I broke down crying in the food court. Everyone was staring at me, but I couldn't stop my tears. It was incredibly embarrassing. Even a little boy stopped and stared at me. I just looked at him with tear-filled eyes that screamed, don't judge me. That day, I faced a lot of my fears. My fear of doing something on my own, my fear of disappointing those I care about, my fear of disappointing myself, and most importantly, my fear of yes. Before this year, probably the most terrifying word in the English language, in my opinion, was yes. Yes made me vulnerable. Yes made me susceptible to rejection, embarrassment, failure, and disappointment, which were four fears I tried to shield myself from for 18 years. But this year, I decided to change the narrative and face my fear of yes. Merely, merely taking on this challenge itself was terrifying. But in a study conducted by the Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine, they took adults who were terrified of spiders and made them touch tarantulas. Mind you, prior to this study, these adults were so terrified that they wouldn't even walk on grass in fear of encountering one. After this exercise, not only were they able to touch tarantulas, but six months later, these same adults were still able to touch them. This exposure therapy dampened the responsiveness of the parts of the brain associated with fear response. This proved that the only way to overcome my fear was to face it head on. And that's exactly what I decided to do. But I couldn't start this journey without looking for some inspiration along the way. And along the way, I found Michelle Boyer. Michelle took on the ultimate challenge and faced 100 fears in 100 days. To find out how Michelle managed to take on this immense task, I decided to contact her. And to my surprise, she answered me back with some incredible words of wisdom. She told me, rather than asking myself what was the worst thing that could happen, to ask myself what was the best that could happen and try to see opportunity behind every fear. And that was when my big idea was born. For an entire year, I was going to say yes to every single opportunity presented to me and use this same exposure therapy to help me overcome my fear of yes. In doing so, I've opened myself up to a whole new world of possibilities I never had before. If it weren't for saying yes to becoming a UIL coach, I would have never realized how much passion and joy it brings me to teach students and to watch them succeed. If it weren't for this, I would have never known that I wanted to become a teacher. If it weren't for me saying yes to impromptu singing for my mom and a group of her friends, I would have never gotten the opportunity to sing at a family's friend, a family friend's wedding this coming June. Before this year, I was led by fear. I missed out on so many opportunities because I was afraid to try. I led with no as a means of protecting myself from something bad happening. But what I learned was not only did I shield myself from something bad happening, I, I also shielded myself from the potential of something amazing happening. 
A wise philosopher by the name of Winnie the Pooh once said, we only regret the chances we didn't take. So I challenge you to say yes to trying out for that sports team, to say yes to singing in public, to say yes to that promotion at work. Take opportunity by the reins and ride, because life is too short to live in what ifs, and I wish I would have. And although it is important to remain cautious and not say yes to everything, don't be so quick to say no, because you could be missing out on an amazing opportunity just waiting for you to reach out and grab it. Because if it weren't for yes, I wouldn't be standing here in front of you all today. Thank you.